Hello there. I did uh, try to do this talk, but I was interrupted, so I have to try it again. And uh, this talk podcast is called Talk on the Illusion of Self and Separation and Existence. Now, <clears throat> I've mentioned before that at the start of my spiritual awakening 10 years ago, Uh, at the, the start, very early on, I was downloaded information on thinking of nothing all the time. Not voices, I, I, I mean, I don't hear voices or nothing. But like thoughts coming into you, you know, I call it information downloads, I've heard others say that. My mum's side are travellers and gypsies and mediums. Uh, and... They, they, you know, do do mediumships and, and, and stuff like that, clairvoyance, but, you know, none of the family, to my knowledge, have had any spiritual awakenings. Uh, I've not met one yet. I'm the only one. But not really. Because, like at the start of the awakening, I was getting shown about nothingness. I hadn't <clears throat> known anything about Buddhism. Or any any information that would tell me this. I didn't know anything about non-duality or anything, right? I, I mean, because I brought was brought up with a mother that was in the psychic field, I had no interest in, in things of spiritual or anything like that. Uh, but then 24, I had this awakening. But again, it's not the separate I that had any, any awakening. And this is why it's the, the, the self and separation and existence is an illusion, an illusory dream, if you like, because the core of everything has to be nothingness at some stage, right? That's basic logic and it's common sense, very sensible to understand that if, at some point, you have to have nothing, right? You have to, before you have an idea, you have, well, you don't have an idea. So the nothing at some point has no reason to manifest anything because it's non-existence. It doesn't exist, right? It doesn't have any reason or point or, or plan in place, right? Like, if God created the heaven and the earth, what about before the God? That's to be a point where there's nothing. <clears throat> and you see, and that's what everything is. We were all, in fact, the same infinity of nothingness. And there can only ever be one infinity. You can't ever have two infinities. Because if you've got one infinity of all existence, that's it. There's only one of them. That's what oneness is. And uh, and this is what the information started to come in at the start of my spiritual awakening. And even then, you know, when I say I, there can't really be a, a self in that. But <clears throat> within the nothing, the, the, I, I believe and uh, I've watched science documentaries as well saying that within nothingness there is a life force or something that manifests but again if you have completely non complete non-existence it can't ever have a reason for doing anything it can't have a point a reason an idea it's it's arising for no reason Right. 
that's a thing. If there's an outside God, that has a point. But if you're talking about the nothing before everything, that has no point, no... doesn't have any reason to do anything. It just is. Right? <laughs> that's it. It just is. And so that spark of something that scientists sometimes talk about within the nothing, it obviously is... is a spark of life, awareness, consciousness. But it doesn't have to be. Uh, because it's nothing. Like uh, when you have when dream when you sleep sometimes and there's just long periods of nothingness. There's no reason for that dream to manifest. You see? There's no point. There's no you know, it doesn't have to do anything, it just it does it. <clears throat> and I think the deeper the nothingness, the deeper the, the, the life manifestation or the something manifestation, the illusion, dream manifestation, the consciousness. If you think of it, nothingness itself is consciousness. I mean, when you, dream, when you sleep for long periods and, and there's nothingness in that sleep, you remember the nothing. And it's 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 caught like a conscious nothing, but also at some point there'd have to be a point where there's actually no consciousness. You see, our brains can struggle to understand that. But this is what I was get I've been getting shown at the start of the awakening ten years ago, <clears throat> and uh, you know, before I knew anything about non-duality or Buddhism, I didn't look up anything. To get a spiritual awakening, I didn't even know what a spiritual awakening was. I just sat down one day and had enough. Right? In the dream. In the illusion of, of me being a separate self. But in that awakening, I realised that there was no me. I thought I was going crazy. And then a few years into the awakening, I found out about Buddhism, that they talk about the same similar thing. And that's really what presence is when you practice presence. I've got a new page on my website, lovelightfamily.com, called The Power of Presence. And basically presence is is that is the is nothingness. Right? And then when you practice presence you get an insight into what nothingness actually is. It's a conscious manifesto. That's what it is. And within that is a sexual loving force that is the the manifest manifestate can't even say it a manifester of all existence or the manifester of all existence. I don't even know what word I was trying to say there, but yeah, manifester of all existence. <clears throat> See, in awakening, what's happening is everything's becoming one. This is what's happening. It's like you can no longer see two or separation. Everything becomes one. The same thing. Observing itself. And it's like sound and, you know, some, if you... Go back to before sound ever existed. I mean, there has to be a point of non-existence if if you think logically. But I think not nothingness isn't what people think it is. <clears throat> people think not nothingness is non-existence. Well, it can't be completely non-existence if it if it's a manifesto. It it must be a thing where it tricks people into thinking that it doesn't exist when it actually does. You see? And that's how the light manifested. Because within the nothing was actually the, was the light itself. And that's why you are this nothingness. And so that's why the light, that divine light is within you. That same light and nothingness that would have manifested all life. 
So nothingness is the unsung hero. It's the true God before the God. And this is all, like I say, this is all information from my own spiritual awakening. Uh, you know, this is from the awakening experience for just, well, 10 years now. And it's very important I get this out there because this is the core of what we are. Nothingness. But what is the, but the, the fact of the matter is, what is it that makes nothing manifest as something? And I can't talk on a spirit, or, well, I can talk on a spiritual level, but not a scientific level. I can talk based on my own awakening and what it showed me. And that within this nothing is a conscious, sensual, orgasmic force. People call it Tantra. Uh, and that's actually the... the the infinite love power within everything and that means within the nothing is that an unconditional love for all things and that's what God is but the core of all of this is the nothing of course you see And so when someone's aligning with their, their tantric energy fields in ascension, they're aligning with nothingness. That's what they're aligning with, the core of all, of everything. You know, raising your kundalini is just nothingness. A person is just nothingness. And at the core level, like, I, like I've said many times, it has no reason to manifest anything because it doesn't exist. So things are just arising, but for no reason. People put ideas and labels on things, but it's just madness when, you know, everything had to come from nothing. So everything just arises for no reason. You put labels on things. If you look around you now, everything around you has got a label by someone. And then what they're trying to do is they're trying to define nothingness. You can't define it. Because it doesn't, it's not there. <laughs> so it means that you're not there. But you're here and here, the present moment, is that nothingness. And when you start to practice presence, as I've mentioned, that's when this nothingness force can show you what it really is. And so there is no self, there is no separation, there is no existence, there is just nothing. And you're it. And I'm just going to leave it on that note. For latest updates, talks, news, research, and much, much more, please do check my website, www.lovelightfamily.com. Thank you.